Hi, and today I'll be talking about my top five favorite video game franchise. So, uh, let me know in the comment section below what are your top five favorite video game uh, franchise. Okay, so if you have top three or top ten, whatever, let me know what, what are some of your favorite video game uh, franchise in the comment section below. And you took my channel, hit the like button, and subscribe, and I appreciate it, and God bless you. So, um, the reason, the reason, um, uh, I'm doing this, is because, it's because of two games that are coming out. One, Pokemon Garland and Violet is coming out in a couple weeks, and next year, Pig Man 4, okay? And, um, and I'm excited for those two games. Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. They're coming out in a couple weeks. And next year, Pikmin 4. Okay? Now, let me be clear. Um, this is my favorite, my top five favorite, uh, video game franchise. Okay? It is not my favorite video game list. Okay, uh, I'll do that later down the road, like later this year or later next year. Okay, okay. Uh, if I did, if I did a top um, ten, a top five, my top ten favorite video game list, then maybe some of the all information. Now I'm gonna mention the second will probably make will probably be on my top ten. But then but then uh, I'm doing my top five, then some of the information won't be in my top five, okay? Um and there are some rules how some of these video game franchise be in my list. Um, I had to, I had to um, uh, either play um, I I had to either play more than one of the game in the franchise or or beat two of the game, at least two of the game in the franchise. Okay, so okay and. Okay, and let me be clear, I'm going to say it again, this is not my favorite uh, video game link of all time. Uh, okay, like, bunch of those games that, 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 that are my favorite video game list. Uh, some of them just only had one game and then they got canceled or something, okay. Now, uh, let's start with the honorable mention. Um, Fire Room. Uh, I think I played this, uh, a long time ago. One or two times. For PlayStation or something. And then, I never played it again. And then, a couple years ago, um, I got a Nintendo trick for Christmas. And then, and then, and then somebody else gave me a, uh, bit for the Tim Chris. That thing Chris my, that I got the Tim of Twitch. Okay? And, and, uh, uh, I think Spiral is cool. Uh, I think he's underrated. He don't get, uh, uh, enough recognition he to do. Okay? But the reason why he's not, the reason why um, he's not uh, uh, in my top five or, or whatever is because uh, I, I never I never beat the game. Um, another one in my own mission is uh, All Girl. This is the one that I played a little bit when I was little. Okay, I always thought that he was cool. The game looks creepy and awesome and whatever. And I think that, uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, I would like to see a movie 
did to turn to a movie, but I never, I never beat it. But I did, I did like it enough that when I found out that they put, they put one from the all world on uh, Nintendo Twitch. I went out and bought it. I think I'd be like, I beat thumb of the level, but I didn't go back and beat it. Okay? And I did, but I'm a little play thumb of it. Or play Um. Uh, another, another honorable mention is, uh, Crack Band Q. Okay? And, uh, and, and, and I don't know if this is the same, uh, when I found out that they put, uh, they put this on the channel's tweet about it. And I don't know if this is the same, same one as, uh, these right here. Okay. And I played these a few times on a little, but not that much. And, okay. But I think, I think, Crap Man Q is, is uh, an awesome character. He's one of my favorite uh, video game character. And and uh, to be honest, the reason why he 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 uh, not in my top five is because uh, I never beat the game. The only Crap Man Q game that that I'm in love with, that I grew up with. And then I got addicted to was uh, the racing one, the tag team racing. Okay, and they put they put it on the um, the Tinder trip, and okay, and that would probably be one of my favorite video game of all time, and that would probably that probably be in that video. Okay. Um. Another honorable mission, I know I got a lot of honorable mission. Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I think it's a, definitely an honorable mission because because uh, because there was a time in, in my in my in my childhood or on my teen years, or I don't remember, but having the F R three sixty and playing Stan Andreas, and I remember getting the Ring of Death on my F R three fifty and I didn't, I, I didn't care about the, uh, the, uh, the story mode, just turn the volume up, and, and, and hearing, uh, all my epic living tested, or running down the green. Okay, and then, but the reason why I did the night in my, um, in my, uh, top five, is because, um, I never beat the game. And I'm, and I'm a beat to the game, okay? Uh, now, the, the one I mentioned, we're the honorable mission, okay? I tell you, I tell you, I have to beat, leak to the game, play, or play to the game, or leak, leak beat to the game in the franchise. Now, now, it's time for me to do, give you all my top five favorite, uh, video game franchise, okay? Um, now, all these five that I'm gonna name, they're all my favorite, okay? And, um, they're not in any order. Uh, all these I can play anytime and I can get addicted to or have fun with. Oh, you wanna play this one? You wanna play this one? Yeah. But if I had to really sit down and really think about it and and something like that from five, four, three, two, one, how you how will you uh, rank them? This how I rank them, okay? So I already gave you my honorable mention, okay? So this is how I, I would probably do it. 
Okay. Um, number uh, number five. Uh, let me see here. Super smart button. Okay. Okay. And uh, and uh, I believe I even played one for the uh, the King of Trade. But I don't have it with me right now. My brother had that. Um, uh, but my favorite one would be Super Smash Bros. Melee. That's my favorite one, and that's one I have the most memory with. Um. I even I even played the one for the uh, uh, I even played I even played the one for the uh, the 3DS and I didn't really care for that one that much. Uh, the only one I never played was the Nintendo 64. Um, I wouldn't mind buying that one. Someone gave that to me that one for my birthday at Christmas. Cause, Cause I prefer old game to new game. Okay, I, I, I like buying. I like playing old game. Uh, this, this I think this one's my favorite one, but 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 uh, the Wii U one was good. The new one, the new one was good. I like how they added a uh, uh, Pigman. Okay. Um. Sonic, okay, and I, I, I like how one of them they, they, they added where you can build your own stage. Uh, but this is the one that I played the most for the game too. Okay, and uh, and I would love it if they made a Super Smash Brothers movie or a Super Smash Brothers uh, franchise, okay. So, this might be the franchise that I play the most game. This one, and uh, my number one. Okay? But the only thing bad about Super Smash Brothers, uh, um, it's more fun if you play with, with multiple people. And I like it how in the new one, you can play with like 8 to 12 people with computers or with your friends. Okay? Um, number, uh, number, uh, let me see here, number uh, four, okay, number four, um, I'm gonna say number four, it's a tie between number four and three, cause I, I like about the thing, um, I'm gonna, um, uh, so, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, Ratchet and Clank. Okay, um, um, so, um, one of my brothers is a big fan of Ratchet and Clank. And, um, and I'm gonna be honest, I never, I, 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 I never played the new one. I don't have enough money to play uh, to go out and buy uh, to go to go out and buy PlayStation Five but to play the new one, okay? Um, but but uh, I beat this one at least one time, and um, and um, I am uh, on my way. Oh, um, being this one again, and then, and then, this one have a cover on it, but I'm like halfway through being Going Commando, and I never, I never played that one before, okay, and then, um, up to Arsenal, I beat like two or three times in the past. And then, if I'm going back and uh, playing it, 
I'm, I'm at the part when uh, uh, the Starship Phoenix is like taking over the Ranger with like a red like like door or like they or something. This one I played the most. And I really liked it. Now I, I, I was really was a fan of the of Ratchet and Clank movie. I know a lot of people hate it. I liked it when it came out. Um, so after I after I go I think being these three these three Ratchet and Clank games, um, and then I'll go back and I'll go and play this one, which I never uh, which I never uh, played before. And then uh, I'll play Secret Agent Clank. Okay. Uh, uh, um, this one, like five or ten years ago, I bought from my my brother, which is a big Ratchet and Clank fan, and he never played it. So we just left it on the shelf next to a PlayStation Two and all this stuff. And so I'm gonna play it. After I beat the first three games, okay, and he, he beat this one, he played this one, but I never did. And going commando, I don't think he, I don't think he ever beat he ever played that one. Cause I never I never hear him talk about that one before. And I think like last year or something, I bought this, okay. So, so, uh, so I am a fan of Ratchet and Clank, okay? Um, number, number three, uh, Pigman, okay? And um, so uh, this one, the first one, this was a very quick game I ever played on uh, the GameCube, and I got it the same year that uh, I, I got it the same year that the GameCube came out in 2001, and I, I beat it like one time with my brother, my old brother, my older brother, and. Uh, um, I took out that save file on another memory card. Now on another memory card, I went back in uh, that the other day when they, uh, like a month ago or whatever, when they announced that they come out with Pitman 4 next year, I decided, I decided um, to go and try to beat Pitman 1, 2, and 3 before Pitman 4 comes out. Okay? And to me, I think Pitman, uh, Pitman 1 is the hardest. Pitman 3 is the easiest. Okay? And I beat, I beat Pitman 3 uh, the same year that it came out. Okay? Uh, it's right here. Okay? And I was so disappointed that, uh, when I found out that the Wii U was the wood scale Nintendo system console, and I bought it when it came out, four hundred dollars and I game stop. I had to get to play uh this. Okay. But but uh but but when they came out for it for the Wii U I got addicted to it and I beat it. Okay. Um okay. And, uh, um, this is my game talk. Um, uh, and then I'm, uh, a couple years ago, 2017, I bought that. Hey, Pigman. I, I need to go back and play it. Because I played few minutes of it. And, and I didn't really care for it. So I, so I need to, I need, I need, I need to, uh, play it again. Either start over or, or just, Pick pick up where I left off or something. Okay. So, so that's the last Pinman game that they came out with. After Pinman 3. Now they come out with Pinman 4 next year, which I'm excited for. And a couple weeks ago, I, I went on uh, Amazon and, and 
I knew that I knew that for a long time and that's one of the reasons why I never bought it. Hitman 2 and um, it's a lot of money and I never played it. Okay. Um uh, okay. Um and uh every time you look at Pitman 2 it, it it either throw out or uh it's over hundred dollars. It cost me two hundred dollars. But but I had to have it because I'm a I'm a diehard Pitman fan. Um I never played this one one before and maybe after I beat all three of them and maybe you try to beat Hey Pinman and beat Pinman 4. I'll, I'll um, give you my ranking, tell you which one I like like the best, and what and you rank them from what the best or something like that, and review each of them, okay? So that's the only one I never played before. So right now, uh, Pinman 2, okay? Um. Uh, number two, my, my second favorite uh, video game franchise. This might be the video game franchise that I get I get addicted to the most. But this one I might even put at number one. But but uh. Let me see here. Okay. Red Eagle. Okay. So, um, now, now, uh, let's talk about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Um, um, I play halfway through Resident Evil One. I need to go back and beat it. Since I got GameCube, and like five or two years ago, I bought a game, a silver GameCube at GameStop for like twenty dollars or something, and I still got the receipt. I need I need to go back and, and spin and beat it or start over or something. I never play I never play two or three, but if, if it's somewhere if, if it's somehow I can get it, well game two or we'll play game two or something because I still got play game two. That's how I can play the rest and play game. If it's somewhere I can get them, then I, then I would like to have them, and I would, if I can get them, then I will play them. Um, this one right here, I'm making it ready to fit. Uh, you see, FFP50, I need to probably just throw this away or something. I'm trying to sell it. Um, or, or maybe keep it for a collector item. Uh, back, back when I had my FFP50 and Ring of Death, I tried to play it one time, a few times, and, Man, did I, did I hate it? Why? Cause it didn't feel like a Resident Evil game. It felt like Black Ops or one of those kind of game. Okay. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't feel like no Resident Evil game. Okay. This was not a good Resident Evil game. Me, this was the world. Okay. And then uh, a couple of years, uh, like a year or two ago, uh, I bought this. I'm so happy that they, they released this uh, on the uh, Nintendo Twitch. And, uh, um, and, uh, and then a couple months ago, 
I pray for my girl, I be ready for five. And I be able to pull the pad uh, when I have my Apple 350 long time ago. And uh, I'm halfway uh, being ready for that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go back and be for, uh, for, for the day for time. Um, uh, I'm playing ready for four again. And this time I'm gonna be for the day for time on the time trip. Okay. Um, I beat Redding before so many times, counting many times on the game on the GameCube version. Okay, uh, Redding before for the GameCube, I probably beat the most. Okay, this one right here, I beat so many times. I beat Redding five, at least two, at least two times in my life. This one right here. Ready on four for the game two. Man, I beat so many times and so fun, I never get tired of it. And if you have, if you have, if you had the game two version, uh, um, there's so many collection and stuff that you know it, only the Die Hard fan knows. Like, you shoot, you take the shotgun or something, or, or the handgun, and shoot the water. And the monster come out of the water and eat you or something like that. Okay. And and uh, one of my one of the ringtones, I put one of the dummy noises. Muscle, muscle. I want I want the ringtone. I'm I'm on my phone. <laughs> when my brother called me, muscle, muscle. That's why he was when. When my brother called me, okay. Um, all the other, all the other, uh, ready, like ready with Gavin, ready with Billy. Um, I would like to have, uh, get them and play them, but I don't have enough money to buy Project in Five or, okay. Um, I went mine and they came came out like this, ready with. Red Team Mobility, like this. I can open it, stick it in there, and play it like that. Okay. Uh, and my last favorite video game franchise, I would say, would be Pokemon, okay? Uh, I have a lot of Pokemon games. I have, um, uh, uh, I, in my opinion, in my opinion, um, the best, the two best spin off, uh, Pokemon game or uh, Pokemon Coliseum and XD and, um, Pokemon Stadium, okay? And Pokemon Stadium 2, okay? And, um, and this might still be my this this uh, might still be my Pokemon Yellow version for my childhood. This is my still this is still my uh, this, this is uh, my still my very first Pokemon. Uh, this is still my very first uh, video game I ever played when I was a little kid. So when I was like five or six. The very first game I ever played was Yellow Version, okay? Um, if, you, if you look in here, what I'm going to show you, I have so many Pokemon games. Pokemon game. Crystal. Silver. Blue version, bleak green, and let me know in the comment section below how many, how many real diehard Pokemon fan that you consider yourself a diehard Pokemon fan. 
to have to have you gain. I don't care if you don't don't play them. Just leave, keep them. I'll put that by now. Remember that we make. Pokemon Pearl Pokemon Omega Ruby Pokemon Moon Pokemon Platinum and I was the only one uh, out of my brother that played that, played that one and that was the best one Pokemon X. And it's done. And then Shiny Pearl. Wow. And then uh, I still got stoked over, but that's in my DS somewhere. Uh, it, it tra it's charging, but, I, I got, but wow. Okay, so um, so uh, thank you for watching, and um, uh, so maybe later down the road, uh. I'll do a video about my favorite um, video game and my favorite uh, video game character. Okay, so uh, let me know. Uh, are you excited are for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? And also, are you excited for Pigment Four? And let me know all that in the comment section below. And you to my channel, hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you.